Hey, what's happening, everybody? Welcome back. It's it's all hurts one more time. Stuck in the asylum, right where I belong. Right where I belong. We are. We're. What are we? Episode. We're running episode number thirty-three, if I'm not mistaken. And I do believe that we are on our fourth episode into this chapter five of the game, Moira Asylum. And there's been plenty to do here. You know, plenty of creeping out. <laughs> you know what? Admittedly, I really was freaked out a little bit by a couple of different things in the first couple episodes here and I've just been on edge it's I've just been thoroughly creeped out um, <laughs> by several other things that have been going on here as well now I know that I've spent quite a bit of time just kind of backtracking and you know doubling back for loot and kind of searching every room I like to do that hopefully you guys don't mind too much and it usually, I mean, I'm not trying to do any type of speed run here, that's for damn sure. But I believe, you know, with us four episodes into this chapter now, you gotta believe that we're, we're about to get to, uh, well, some kind of a culminating point here, the climax. And there's our friendly fallen beam. Hopefully Garrett isn't too distressed at this point. He'll be able to lift it. He does. Anyway, pushing on. There's been a lot of goddamn reading to do here. Descend to the treatment level. And not all of it has really been of all that much importance. What is this exactly? It looks like a scratch point where I can... Maybe it's just marking and signifying the fact that I can get through there. But usually when you see scratchings like that, it usually... It's usually to mark out something that I can climb. Anyway. I don't think there's anything back there I can climb. Probably just marking the path through all that clutter. Confidentiality. Passing beyond this point constitutes a strict confidentiality agreement. Experimental techniques, the lobotomy, and others uh, remain the property of their respective owners. Anyone found copying the use of these techniques is liable for treason under the Medical Act of uh, 839. There we go. I get a sip of my tea here. A fresh one. A fresh one. And uh, here we go. All right, so uh, we've got what? We have to sign some type of a non-disclosure agreement or something <laughs> coming around here. Yeah. Okay. The world never changes, does it? You know. All right. Anyway. Oh, there we go. A little something. Yeah. You, 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 oh, a syringe, of course. Very fitting for the scene. And uh, the men's ward barricaded, heavily barricaded. And I think that's probably all. I think I can probably move on unless I can get up on that, which I can't. So let's drop down. Okay, here we go. Still on the hunt for keys, you know? So maybe we are still a ways off from actually, you know, reaching that climax here in Chapter 5. You gotta figure that key. Oh, we got bats or crows or something in the area. Ravens. Ugh, a bad omen. A bad sign. A bad sign of things to come. Well, of course, not not for the Master Thief, no. The first floor here, okay. What is that? What the hell was that? It sounded like it came from over here, but again, my headphones aren't on straight right now. And, uh, not cranked. So, I'm not sure. Oh, maybe it was just that. Yeah. Garrett, I'm slipping! Oh, no. Ah! Going in flashback. Give me the claw. Oh no, Garrett, hold it together, sir. Hold it together. Haunted by his past. Haunted by Aaron. All right, first floor. Good lord, that is quite the, <laughs> the drop. Okay, Garrett, are you up for this, sir? His knees are—they're a little wobbly right now. There you go. Oh, be good. Oh, 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 you tripped up there a second, didn't you? Yes, you did. All right, what is this? A little magnifying glass for ten gold. Looked like something else was shining right there, but I guess not. I guess not. Was there anything up here? Oh, we got a valve. Wax it off. We're waxing it off right now, apparently. There we go. Now the door is open for us. That's perfect. And I wonder if I can do the same. You know what? Why am I taking the stairs when I can take the beam? <laughs> well, acrobatic, yeah. Yeah, we got some uh, gauges. I'm not seeing anything that we can actually activate there, though. And that doorway is still inaccessible, you know? Oh, wait a second. No, it's not. Look at that. We do have... 
We do have an opening there. Of course, no way to actually get up there, though. That's unfortunate. Let's take another good look up here. Make sure I'm not missing something, you know? So... Okay, no, this door... <laughs> this door is apparently exit only. Maybe we'll find our way over there eventually, in time. <laughs> Who knows? Unless, of course, Garrett can get up on this. No, can't do it. Alright, let's move on. Let's move on. I know I take my time with this, people. I know. I know. But again, I don't... I don't... I'm not necessarily playing this to, to try and get through it as quickly as possible. I like to find all the little... The little hidden gems around here. Oh, he's hearing voices. Garrett, Garrett's suffering from the same thing that poor Aaron was suffering from. Hearing the voices. Oh, we got a uh, we have a golden magnifying glass down there at the bottom of this pit. Excitable patience. So we're heading back into one of these zones, are we? Okay. <laughs> and and those doors are there for that. Yes. You just give him a little knock with your blackjack, and you scare off any evil demons that are lurking about on the other side. Now, how do I get on this ladder? Okay, it's spacebar. There we go. Down bottom, leveling it. And, okay, there we go. I think that's probably all that's down here. Let's move on, Garrett. Find room 3F, apparently. We're being directed. I don't know how he realized that we were supposed to be heading for 3F. Okay, electrotherapy. In this is the electrotherapy chamber. Hopefully he doesn't... You know what? Maybe he'll go into some flashbacks. All dead. All dead but the shadows. No. They were taken by the shadows. The shadows have been hungry. Oh, no. Since she went away. Uh, uh, perhaps referencing Aaron here. And, of course, the monsters. Changed down there. They changed in the dark. Need to stop the shadows from spreading. Okay. <laughs> Let's uh, back away slowly here, Garrett. There's some loot in there. We, there was a hiding spot as well. I would imagine... Oh, what is this? What did that do? <laughs> Let's take a look and see if it did anything. That is like oil. <laughs> like oil. Some lunatic still, still wandering these halls. All right. I would imagine we'll get access to that room in time. Or I'm hoping we will. Okay, what do we have here? Hydrotherapy chamber. Let's see. Let's see what kind of lunacy we have going on here. Oh, I do believe that's Doctor Shen. No, it's who is that? Somebody just hanging around there. Okay, not looking too good. You know what? The hydrotherapy chamber, eh? Hydrotherapy. They're gonna drown them in there or something? Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, again, probably something we're going to stumble across in time. Whoa. They're hurting me. There's too much pain. I'm looking for 3F. We better hustle here, Garrett. What do we have here? A 3D in the lobotomy room. Oh. All right, let's get a, an auto save in here before we go glancing into this goddamn horror chamber. Oh, what do we have here? <laughs> Just somebody standing there. He's obviously been lobotomized. Eventually, we'll see him on the other side. He'll have a big scar. Oh, was that something coming around the corner? I think it was just fog. All right. What well, I have a feeling that all these doors are like, going to open at once. All right, here we go. No, 3E. Operating room. Okay, well. We might as well make it a complete show. And <laughs> see what's going on in this one. Nothing, of course. The one room where you'd figure there'd be something going on in the operating room. Nothing. Nothing. Alright. Somebody banging on the door, though. Really? Somebody banging on the door? Are you kidding me? 
Jesus fucking Christ. No, no. <laughs> I don't know what he said. He looked like he wanted a kiss, though. But no, I will not oblige. I will not oblige. Oh, he said, help me. That's what he said. All right, well, let's open the door. God damn, that was creepy. These doors need power. There's probably a generator down here somewhere. All right, and of course, old 3F, the experimental treatment. That's what we need to head for. <laughs> let's take a look in here. Okay, now this is the room we're supposed to get to. And there's nothing going on in there. This is, of course, where Aaron was, and we probably won't... Uncover the story behind that room until we go, like Garrett just said, get these, uh, get these doors operational. And of course, I've hit every button now. Oh my god. If I power these doors up, you think I'm by my button, my, uh, all my button presses activate at once? And like I said, all the doors, they open all of a sudden. Oh, good lord. Alright. Oh, a flash bomb. Well, those could be coming in handy, especially if this hallway fills with madness here. Once I crank these doors on, or get this power going. Elevator lock. Nice. What's this? Pete! I have a favor to ask of you. The elevator reformation is currently open access. Anyone can just waltz in and pay a visit to maximum security. I'd like you to install a locking mechanism. You know, it won't take too much of your time, sir. This isn't just for the safety of those in reformation, but for the safety of our patients here yeah, in the asylum as well. What happens if one of Huntfield's uh, subjects gets loose. The patients on the upper levels would be defenseless. Now think about it. I'll get you whatever clearance you need. Eliza. There we go. And one more thing right here to read. What is this? Escape note. <laughs> Avery, leave quietly. Ignore the oil and glass. They're for your protection. Light a torch and meet me at the docks. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what they are, but if one of them sees you, set that bastard light and run. I'll wait for you. Okay, okay, that I guess would be the zombies that are hanging around here. Now, where are my fires? I better... Okay, is that my fire? Number four? I think so. We'll, we'll keep that on deck <laughs> since it wants me to light the thing ablaze. All right. Okay, that's a <laughs> lockdown override. Oh, good lord. I I'm a little hesitant to hit that button. <laughs> I'm going to finish searching what's down this hallway first. Oh! Oh! Good lord. Oh, look at it. It's right up there, too, and everything. Well, I, gu I guess... Uh, what do I need? A food? Where's my food? X. X. I gotta get my fire arrow ready again. Alright. Look at this. Look at it. It's right here, too. Damn it. Well, I guess that's uh, pointless now. It won't even let me do it. Just make sure you don't close the cabinet again, Gary. You'll probably end up dead. Okay, now let's... Oh, we ha there's another room I didn't check. Look at this. Sensory deprivation. There's something written right here. Let's see. Uh, doors are to remain closed at all times while room is occupied. Removal from the cares of the world is soothing for the soul. Well, I, I can't argue with that. You know, not much of a sensory deprivation chamber. You know? Anyway. Pretty weak. And what is this? A generator room. Alright. I guess I have to get the power going first, you know? Well, there's a, a little... My food has been recovered. Oh, look at it. We got a little ventilation back here behind these barrels. <laughs> you know, that barrel's looking a little, a little shoddy, you know? <laughs> if ever a barrel could have come down, something could have been destroyed with the blackjack. That was it. That was it right there. Okay, another syringe. Beautiful. Just what I wanted. My syringe collection is getting quite large. And, uh, all right. What is this? Okay, I guess this would be... <laughs> okay, power's, power's up and running. Good place for an autosave. <laughs> you know, that's why that sucker's there. That is why that sucker is right there. I have no doubt. 
can't access that door. And you know what? I have to be guessing that there's going to be another collectible on this level somewhere. You know? I'm just, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling a collectible out there. Okay, it looks like that didn't even have a... Oh, <laughs> this guy's still banging. <laughs> oh, oh, this is closed now. Really? Alright, well, let's hit the button. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Power's slowly coming in. Oh, doors are opening. Okay, nobody, amazingly, none of them, none of them even, even care. You know, even the guy that wanted help. He's like, I wasn't really expecting it. You know, he's probably in there cowering in a corner. Alright, so, now that's that. Now the question is, how do I get back out there? Oh, here we go. There we go. <laughs> so now we're gonna run the rooms. Oh, good lord. I'm gonna have to go through all these horrors one at a time. And, uh, well, got a 15 gold magnifying glass. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, here is... is this, this is Aaron's room. This is the, the room we wanted. Of course, I still want to get several rooms over, but I guess... I guess the door will, you know, become a... will open. Well, once I trigger this little set piece slash cutscene, whatever you want to call it. Calibration. Alright. Calibrate machine carefully before commencing operation. Piercing the veil that masks the window to the soul can reveal the path to wellness. Really? Really? Okay. Is there any loot that I've I've uh, missed? Nothing. Doesn't look like it. Oh, <laughs> yes. So I spoke a little bit too soon. The golden syringe. Good lord. Don't show him you're scared. Don't let him see you lose control. I wanted to stop him. I wanted to save myself, but they won't let me wake up. I need the primal out of the girl now, but do not let her die, no matter the cost. You understand the fear, don't you, Garrett? The fear of being trapped, of being used. Quickly! I understand She's the fear of this goddamn, this godforsaken place. I ruin everything. The primal is dangerous. It must be controlled. No. Oh goddamn! She didn't. It's no good. She didn't I'll have take it. Her back down to the prison level. She did not have it. Uh, have it easy here, you know. Obviously. I thought you died, but it was worse. You did steal the primal that night. Now the Baron wants it back. We spoke about the prison level. Oh. Looks like I'm going even deeper into this hole. Oh, good lord, Garrett. Really? We're going deeper? Deeper into madness. Oh, look at this guy. Is, does he know I'm here? Do you think he knows I'm here? <laughs> Let me get a distraction device ready. <laughs> what, is he, what does he have? Like, oh, I, I, Can I even kill him? I don't even know. See, would he be considered a civilian? You know, I can't kill the civilians here. It'll be a mission fail. Alright, let me get... Actually, you know what I'm gonna get? Oh, here he comes. Get my flash bomb ready, just in case. Better get into the shadows here, Garrett. Okay, now he was quite a while, actually, coming back in here. Get in the shadows on the other side. Something shining. Why can't I stand up? There we go. <laughs> there he is. Alright, that's nice. That's good. That's some good tabbing. The cabinet there if need be. Is he gone? He is. Good. Oh, okay, that's, that's nothing. 
some g gold surgical scissors. Oh, good lord. Nice haul there. 20 gold coming in. Got a little something right there. Just saying. Ducks, and what do we have? Chapter 5. More reading. Look at this. 42 goddamn documents in Chapter 5. What was it? Sterilization here. Clean instruments with alcohol before... Come on. Exploration of stresses on the human body is best done in the heady light of day. Alright, fine. Just getting out of control with these documents on this level. In this chapter. Okay, now does he actually come into this room? I don't think he does. What's this say? <laughs> the lobotomy room. All right, here we go. Adjust gauge of orbital. <laughs> what? Orbitoclast to account for patient skull thickness. <laughs> An overactive imagination is the first sign of madness. Oh goddamn! I've been lost for years. Then. Been lost for years. All right, what do we have? Anything? Some more surgical scissors of greatness. Of golden greatness. Yes. All right. <laughs> there's the <laughs> there's the man that got beaten to death. There's a drawer right there. Yeah, I didn't check it. All right, here we go. Check this up. What do we got? Oh, just a his poor syringe. Yeah, I do believe that's all. Okay, moving on. Yeah, there should be water in there. Yeah. Oh, what is this guy? Is Very good, sir. Is he just gonna hang out here now? What is going on? <laughs> He's having a grand old time. Say that much. Well. Hopefully, I was behind this. I know it. <laughs> he's getting a little paranoid here. There we go. Oh, look at this! Beautiful, loving this. Collectible time, people. Collectible time. Oh, maybe not. Oh. Oh, this is the way I need to go to get out of here. <laughs> I was supposed to go this way in the first place. What is this? Looks like a flash bomb or something. Blast arrow. All right. You know, there's one room I didn't check yet. I should probably head in there before getting too far. Going too far this way. Pocket portrait. All gold down here. Look at this. Loving it. Treasure? <laughs> I made it. I found it. The other man, the other me, he hid his caches in these vents like a well-worn coat. The close walls are comforting in a way I have never felt before, and I feel so close to him that I can almost smell his scent. The treasure of his labors can't be far, and the clicking, a beating heart of our combined desire must be closer yet. A small rest, and I will continue. I have come so close. It can only be a matter of feet before the years join us in triumph. Creepy. Creepy, but yet uh, very illuminating. So, you know, I have to wonder, is there more treasure? Will there be more down here? Perhaps a collectible to be found down here. Before I venture too far, though, like I said, I would like to uh, check that final room. Hopefully the madman up there with the baton. Uh, you know what? I can't get back up now. I've buggered it. <laughs> Damn it. All right, well, let's move on here, Garrett. That's nothing. I think I'm probably pushing 20 here. Oh, I am. I've surpassed it. Well, I think perhaps I should probably wrap it right here before we uh, trigger the next, the next checkpoint.
it could be something good so no sense in getting ahead of ourselves people thanks for stopping by uh, tuning in checking out this episode always appreciated when you do i hope you'll thumb it hope you enjoyed it you know how the rest goes uh, i hope i'll see you in the next one uh, but until then well remember why it hurts later all